Brenda's under attack, but the fleet is on the way, ladies and gentlemen. Will it survive? What is up the world? Hello. What up, peeps? Slipgator back again with some more Anno 1800. Look how cool our friggin' friggin' is as it heads off to do friggin' friggin' things. Whoa! Fishes! Or possibly mammals. Dude, those are killer whales. Crazy, man. Look how cool they look. Anyway, guys, welcome back to some Anno 1800. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me today. Stuff and things are going great. Uh, and we have now Coming into 82 destination. coins of income from this amazing pier. I'm so glad we built that thing. Guys, so many more multitasking things happen to, uh, need to happen. Pardon me. But we have some pretty cool stuff right here. The Ice Edge. Ship constructed. Dude, we need the perfect name for this guy. Please don't leave your Kevin, our first ship of the line. People are willing to fight. Yeah, I just annihilated you. I did a little bit of work off camera. Not really very much, to be honest with you, but some. We have an item over here. Movement speed plus 10%. We're going to squirt that right on Why Kevin. Our first ship of the line. Other than that, it was really just kind of setting up a couple Achoo. of trade routes. A dragon among mortals. Uh, I don't really need the money. Do I need the... I got 87 with her. I could use five more influence points. What do you got for me? In it. Uh, apologetic gift. Pick up King, uh, apologetic gift. Okay, we'll figure this out. Over here? Whoa, what are these guys doing? Hold on a second here. We should be heading all heading over to deliver right to there, ladies us? and gentlemen. So yeah, we had a couple quests that we're doing right now. Um, apologetic gift we have to pick up at the lighthouse. Did we already do it? New orders. There it is right there. Dude, we can get our ship of the line to do this deal. Deliver to the lighthouse? Let's go team. Let's have the ship of the line do it. Why wouldn't we? It's doing stuff and things. Kevin's on his first trip. Plus, he's got extra 10% movement speed. So it's all good, man. He's off there doing his thing. So a couple of trade routes got set up, guys. And what we got going on right now is schnapps right here being moved from, I have clothes in schnapps island now, down over to Slipton Vilberg, and then over to Beer Island as well. So we got that guy, and then we have work clothes uh, and bricks being moved right here. Brenda, our schooner, moving in betwixt these two islands. And what we have is 50 clothes being picked up on Clothes Schnapped Island, dropped off on Beer Island, 50 bricks being picked up on Beer Island, and dropped off on Clothes Schnapped Island. It's great. So all of those trade stuff and things are starting to occur. And that means that our um, little uh, satellite deals, our satellite islands, are doing quite well, in fact. Our clothes and schnapps production are really eh, mediocre. We could do with a little bit more schnapps. Clothes is doing great. Um, we don't need a ton of schnapps on this island right now, so moving it around is going to be good. And once we actually get um, the main island and beer island full of schnapps, everything should kind of even out, but it's going to take a little bit of time to make that happen. Um, down here, we have, I think, most all of our stuff and things are going well. I think we're going to need to get some snousages going on Beer Island. So, uh, hmm. This really is for beer. Maybe we could do snousages up here as well. Dude, we would have so much production going on this island. Clothes, schnapps, and sausages? Let's make it happen. All right. Worker shortage stuff and things are happening. Dude, we have so many workers on this island, but because our production facilities are so, like, through the roof, we have a shortage of workers over here. I'm actually going to, I think... Do something like this over here so we can make sure that our utility buildings are being utilized <laughs> to their fullest. Pop these guys in over here, and then we'll just kind of like make it even with the existing road system that we have. Hopefully, this will help us. I'm assuming that it will. Can we get another guy? Mm, we can get two in there, and then maybe four here. Nice. Now that he's given. Then over here. I mean, we're going to just go ahead and go ham with this. We're going to have a huge amount of additional people in here. To match all the production that we're going to need. Like so. All right. Get some roads going like this and like that. Make sure transportation is taken care of. We actually got to do this pretty quick. Or our people will start to get real, real irritated. Also, I figured I was going to tell you this. But then I was like, not going to tell you this. This game, man, I keep saying it in every episode. It is really, like, just absorbing 100% of my my gaming wants and needs. There's so much to do in it, and there's so much multitasking. 
I just cannot stop playing this freaking game. All right, so that's good. Uh, so yeah, today's actually supposed to be a day that I take off. I try to take some time off from uh, YouTube and Twitch once in a while, um, and I'm supposed to be taking some time off today. But I was like, I want to play Anno. So that's why we're here, man, doing stuff and things with you guys. Uh, we need five of these bad hombres. Two, three, four. That is weird. Uh, let's move these guys out a little bit. I'm going to just, whoa, whoa, not demo. I just want to move you guys. Let's set the, this guy, like, in the center. Like so. There, nice. And then... You know what? Just to save on space. Oh. You got to get spun around there, homie. Now, this is actually going to cause a little bit of a problem with the warehouse. Probably. Let's go ahead and take a look and see here. We'll just set up some sexy roads to start with. Down over this way. We'll put a little bit of a road deal over here like so. And then I'm just going to go ahead and upgrade this guy straight away. Two levels like that. So it's a max large warehouse now. This should be good for all of our Southage production. Um, now we are super low on workers now. Ugh, upgrades. You reach a new milestone. 90. Oh, dude, you guys. All right, let's take a look and see back over here. All right, these guys are only at fours. So we're only down by 16 and 10. Shouldn't take too long for people to start moving in here. In fact, if we go ahead and speed this bad hombre up like so. There we go. Nice. Try to keep it nice and even. Oh, we can't do that guy. We can't do that guy. What's up with these guys? Why are you upset? No, you're fine. Everybody's fine. All right, there we go. We'll keep it like that for right now. 70 additional workers. All of our farm uh, population is increasing. And then hopefully... We don't start to have a problem. We're probably going to end up having a problem maybe with fish. Closed production is really good. Uh, sausages are going good, but now people need bread. All right, so it never ends. But we have solved a little bit of a problem with the sausage situation. We're going to wait ahead or go ahead and wait and see how this plays out um, as we kind of like allow the island to build up a little bit, see how the sausage production um, works out for everybody. I mean, right now, obviously, already it looks like. Wait, where's my warehouse deal? Um, we're not going to see it in over here, but you can see these guys are already maxed. Like, we're doing really, really good with that. Bread's going to be a next order of business, but on the main island, you can see this island's actually happy. This island's actually happy. Our main island... Wait, where is our main island over here? Not too happy. Uh, first thing... Yeah, let's go ahead and bring these guys back over to maybe, say, like, right there. But, yes, unhappiness abounds in Slipton Vilberg. So, in order to make these guys happy, we're going to need canned food and sewing machines. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at our steel. Okay, we're at a plus two on steel beams. This says it's decreasing, but I've seen it in the positive uh, pretty recently. Coal and iron itself look like they're doing really, really good. Weapons are doing good. All right, so over here, in order to make that kind of next level happen, we're going to have to go into our consumables. Now, uh, it looks like we need cattle farms. Red pepper farms, iron production, which we have. Then we'll need artisan kitchens to make the cannery. This is going to be one of the last facilities that we're going to be able to build on this island. We really don't have the room for all this stuff and things, man. It's kind of crazy. Um, one of the things I was thinking about doing straight away was moving this guy back over into here. I think we have a little bit of space. Right. Oh, dude. Can we fit two? That would be so cool if we could. Mm, like this. Oh, dude. It's so tight. All right. Maybe fit him down like so, and then we'll go ahead and build. Well, we got plenty, plenty of bricks. Build a brick road. <laughs> we'll build a brick road back over here. Like so. And no warehouse. Um, Let's see if we can pop this guy out over to here. That's not going to work. We'll squirt that guy down right there. We'll just build another small warehouse back over in this area, I guess. Yeah, we're just trying to maximize stuff and things, you know? Just trying to make sure we're using the most of the space that we can. Um, So, okay, over in consumables, first order business. Iron, we're doing really good. Cattle farms, it's two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, a minute and 30 seconds. That really throws us off. Least common denominator there is going to be six minutes. So, if this is six minutes, that means it would produce four. That means that we would need... Oh, my God, you guys. The math. Oh, it's going to hurt my brain. Okay. I feel like I have a bit of a new theory. 
about how we're going to do stuff and things. And that all kind of started when we placed this steelworks up inside of here. You know, it doesn't really make a lot of sense to have the steelworks up inside of here. There's not really much going on over here, but it's kind of like a great spot to just put that. And it fits over there, kind of, sort of. Um, even though it looks like it's weird. I mean, all these guys, they're taking up all these spaces over here, like so and like so. So pretty much all this land's being utilized. And then I started to think about that over here as well. I was like, well, we have all these factories like this, right? But they're not really utilizing all this extra land. And so by moving them, can I get uh, these guys to go away? You can see I've made quite a bit of extra land here just by moving those guys kind of in there and having them take advantage of that space. So I'm going to pop this guy off too, like so, like so, like so. And maybe this guy. I mean, all these extra roads now just aren't util being utilized. And this space is something that in the future we could use for something different. Um, farms. Yeah, leadership. the people are loving me. Dude, they're telling me I'm making a good decision. Is that everything? And one little bush, two little bush. <clears throat> all right. So uh, with that in mind, I was thinking about what we're going to be doing over here for our new canned goods production. Um, I did a little bit of the math. And what I think we're going to end up doing is... Um, I'm going to try to fit in uh, six. I think we're going to try to do it. The math doesn't work out perfectly. We're going to try to fit six cattle farms, six red pepper farms. We would need six artisan kitchens. Uh, and then we can go ahead and put up, I think, four or five canneries. And that should work out for us. But the way we're going to do this, instead of doing it kind of like in a blocky fashion, I'm going to come down over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to say, for instance, this guy right here. I'm going to place it right there, right? No fertility. So that's it needs 108 bad. soil. So I'm going to fill in all of that. I'm going to fill in all of this. And then we're going to take this guy and kind of go all the way up. All right. So there's 108 right there. We could go like this. And actually, to do this really good, we could go like so. All right. So 108. Wait. <gasps> no red pepper fertility on this island. Oh, man. Dude, we can't do it here. I didn't even think of that. Um... Pop over here. Oh, dude, clothes and schnapps and sausage island needs to be red pepper island too. I don't even think that's possible. Uh, we got red peppers over here on beer island, which we haven't even started to make beer yet. Dude, we're so like, we have so many things to get done. Um, so Ixnay on the Epper Pay, there's no way we can do this over here. Well, that sucks. But it doesn't necessarily mean that my idea isn't good. Um, we can do sewing machine factories here and i think that all we're going to need to do really is to just put some of these guys up um i think a couple good spots for sewing machine stuff and these would be over here so i'm just going to place like one there it'll fit right there right well maybe we could just do like so one here let's make them like this we fit three dude that's like way too many isn't it there's no way we could use that many sewing machines Let's set the two sewing machines factories up over there. Let's just take a look and see over time how that affects our sewing machine requirements. Um, we're going to have to get the canned food going as well, but we really haven't focused on Beer Island. Maybe we'll do canned food next, but for right now, let's pop over Very here insane. and let's look at starting to get Beer Island going with beer. It's time. We need some friggin' beer like this-ish. This is kind of what, what I'm trying to do over here. So I feel like we probably, instead of doing a square pattern, fit a lot more in this area. So we have six uh, of the grain fields now. I only have three hops farms up. I'm going to need nine of those. Um, I do have three of our malt houses. That will take care of all six of the grain farms. So we fit six grain farms, three hops farms, three malt houses, a fully upgraded warehouse, all in the small little island over here. And I think it's going to make a huge difference to, like, of our space. You know what I mean? We're able to utilize so much space uh, with this kind of uh, a configuration here. Now, back over inside of here, uh, I did feel like probably wouldn't be a bad spot to build a little... We might put this here, one of these guys here like that. We could build a little bit of a um, an area for people to come and hang out. I don't think I'm going to get too crazy with the cheese whiz over here. Let's go like so. Maybe we'll put up just the rest of these like that. Perhaps we will, though, get a little crazy. Delete there, 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 maybe there, and there. Why don't we come back over inside of here? Let's get a new stand up right here. Uh, pizza bench, and then garden benches. Just like that. 
So a nice little pretty area for the workers to come and spend their afternoon on lunch. Um, all right, so in order to move forward with beer production, ladies and gentle peeps, we need six more hop farms, and then we're going to need six total breweries. Um, that's going to require us to have some steel. I just brought down a huge load of bricks. So what we're going to do is pop back over here. Oh, and I started to expand the town too. <gasps> oh, crap. Ooh, quick. Oh, slip. Dude, you got to remember your roads, yo. All right, we should be okay there now. Um, all right, so I think this guy's got like Stations. a couple bricks left on him, but it ain't no big thing. We're going to take these boats, send them back up over to our main island to pick up some bricks. Um, and then actually what Attention we might be able to do, Admiral. not bricks, but steel beams. Why don't we send our flagship just so that Jeez, we're saving a little bit of time. Ended. We're not waiting for those schooners to come all the way back over. And then how much money are you generate? Wow! Same old holiday gang as last time. Wow, dude, this is actually generating some cash now. That's cool. Oh, it's because of the festival. Oh, nice, dude. It gives you a little income bump. That's rad. All right. <clears throat> Pardon me, mom. Pop down over here. We're going to drop a big giant amount of steel beams. And then we'll send you down over to Beer Island. Where are you, the Beer Island? Yeah, send him down over here like so. No What's this guy doing? It's Fartitude the Clipper. Let's move this guy back over to here. Oh, approach the escort to begin. Yeah, I got this mission Hi. going over here too. Now, I had an escort mission earlier, and I couldn't do it. It actually failed. And I have seen and heard about there being some bugged missions in the Go game. With me, then. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to do this, lady, you and me. All right, set your sails. All right, so we should be okay over there. Okay, back over to Beer Island. So, Beer Island now. Next order of business is going to be multiple hops farms. Coal deposit, coal deposit, coal deposit. Not super worried about those. Uh, let's go down over here like this. Grab our materials. I'm going to pop over here. I want... Oh, we, have, we can make a little bridge there. I think that'll actually be perfect. And then watch this. I'm going to leave a little space right here. So, check this out, guys. We pop over here now, go into our consumables, and then we set a hops farm up, like, right here. We can select that hops farm and then utilize all this land back here. We can set this all up. See what I'm saying, man? And then for the coal mines, for right now, we don't need them. Ship under attack. Oh, crapola. For real? See? Oh, yeah, we're on escort mission. All right, we got that guy. Will you continue to escort? All right, we're good. Ain't no thing. All right, so back over here, taking a look at that hops farm. But you can see, utilizing that little extra, those little extra bits of land, I think makes a really big difference. We could pop down over. Oh, there's 96 right there. We can maybe go like this. Now, check it out. I know it looks a little bit weird, but it's good. Uh, um, there, there, there. These guys will place another hops farm right here. Now, we can take and go like so. Come back around the backside of this. There's 85 right there. See what I'm saying? Like, you can just fit so much stuff in if you utilize this super amazing method. And six beer deals. Uh, this is not okay. Like so. So now, in this space right here, yeah, six grain farms, nine hop farms, uh, three of the moth houses, and all six of these bad hombres ready to produce beer stuff and things. Now, we're going to have to upgrade um, a lot of our warehouses, probably. And also, eventually, well, we have a little bit of road stuff and things we can do right now. Upgrading the roads in betwixt all these areas to brick would probably be a really good idea to help the movement of all these items happen a little more fluidly. Oh, crap. You know what we got to do? We got to go like this. This is actually going to be pricey. Yeah, we don't have a lot of brick, man. Like so and like so. So that should all travel in betwixt there. I don't know if we have enough to do all this. Maybe just like that. Oh, and we're down 305 workers. <gasps> well, I'm glad we started doing an expansion of the town. Uh, let's pop us out of here. Those guys right there. These guys right here. Oh, that's not enough. I hope you don't disapprove of gift giving. Oh, that's not enough. No, I don't disapprove of gift giving. 65 left. Do we have enough wood? Oh, we're down 45. No wood. So I did move our wood production, by the way, over to here. Peddlers oh, say there's no need a... to take it. Sorry, buddy. Get you that road going right there. We have a little bit of shortage on workers right now just because of our massive expansion in beer. But look at our beer factory, man. So freaking good looking. Oh, my God. It actually, I mean, I don't know. There's a part of me that wants everything to be very square and uniformed. But I do believe this sort of building is way more efficient 
I like it. And then we got our beer factories over here. Look at these guys. You making beer? I Taking a breather? Go to oh, newspaper stuff. Is everybody happy? Oh! We're, many other we're gonna have to throw a little propaganda in there, guys. Sorry about this. And Sometimes maybe a little negative riot chance, news. too. Yeah, there we go. go. But anywho, cool. though, I kind of like this. I feel like it's been, it's working out quite well. Else? Ooh, something's happening. What do we got going on over here? Who is this guy? Return from expedi Return from expedition? We click on this, no. A specialist wants to join your city. Will you allow it? What do we do? What does it even mean? Yes! What is the that? The festival has ended. <laughs> what does it even mean? Uh, inside of here? There she is right there. Harbor Master's Office, plus 15 attractiveness. Affects public moorings. Oh, dude, we could do that. Let's go into our harbor. Let's get our Harbor Master's Office. Maybe we'll set that guy down right over here. And then, there you go. Influence Administrator! Is that good? Nailed an ace that can't be stopped, I think. Um, yeah. So, just been setting up some stuff and things, guys, over here. We have new Beer B. Influence <laughs> the bonus. Beer Beer trade route. Uh, we're just going to be bringing beer straight from here, uh, from Beer Island, right over to Slipton, Vilberg, Townton. Uh, just to see how it's going to go. Because, even though we've created all that beer over here, it's taken a little minute... Like for it to like kind of like heat up over here. Um, I got one uh one shipment of fifty that we've already had head over. But um yeah, it's a little bit tricky. And it looks like that in making all these new islands, of course, we're gonna need so many new things. It looks like Schnapps Island is having trouble keeping up with the Schnapps production. I added two more uh potato farms over here and two more Schnapps distilleries. We might have to do even more. Um, looks like this guy is overloaded at max capacity. And eh, maybe it was just for a second. I feel like the schnapps production might move over Your to the side here. Are starting to get sick. It's a terrible disaster. Everyone's sick. Where's our hospital? There, there is the hospital. Why, why can't I mobilize you? Oh, they're already there. Volunteer nurses waiting to be mobilized? Weird. Normally you could just click... And the mobilize button is there. Another little wee bug? Or do we already do it? No. There's two guys out here, though. They should be fine. They should be okay, I hope. Oh, no. Get away, dude. Get away from the coughing. Did you guys know that ships can actually be infected with viruses, too? And then you have to, like, spread them out? It's pretty cool. Um, all right. So, uh, schnapps here doing quite well. Uh, we do have the schnapps run bringing some schnapps there. Schnapps here. Yeah. And then schnapps down over here, which is one of the islands we really need to make sure we're bringing it to. They have a little, but Hi. not a ton. All right, that's the Medusa Clipper uh, on our trade route for what thing? Dude, I wish there was more information here. That's the wild thing. Oh, it takes us all the way out if we hit exit. There's the Medusa. Oh, that's on the Schnapps run. All right. All right, Schnapps was being delivered over here. We only have 22. Yeah, I feel like that's going to be the next thing. There's so many things to do. Oh, also, that's right, New Island. How do we want to do this guy? I feel like aye, aye. over here this way a little bit. Bam. I grew an empire from nothing to dairy. Canned Food Island is born. Isla, perfect. Time for an expedition, methinks. We got mustache tugboat here with extra rations, hunting clay, and faith bread. Uh, with our bosun, which gives us navigation force and naval power, we're going to start this expedition. We've yet to really do this, so I figured we might as well go ahead and get that done. We did it, well, we did it once and it and didn't work out for us. Um, but yeah, so all of our summer things are going pretty good here. I've just been working on kind of slowly getting canned food Isla up and, up and running over here. Uh, no, not a small warehouse. These guys right here. Just slowly increasing the population. We got some fish deals going on down over here now. We got some wood stuff and things. We got some pubs. We got some marketplaces. What other stuff should we build right away, do you think? Probably a fire department, right? Let's squirt that guy, like, uh, right in the center. A little bit of hot culture poplar tree. At Wait, trembling aspens. Squirt those guys down over here. So yeah, it's going pretty good. Everybody's happy here. Everybody's happy on Beer Island. But I think we're going to need to make more beer. 
Uh, we're doing pretty good over here on Sliptonvilleburg. And then over here, wait, over, yeah, on Close Schnapps Island, I have added a little bit more even of the stuff and things. So we have a couple more of the potato farms now, a couple more of the schnapps distilleries. I added a couple more sheep farms, a couple more framework knitters, because um, I'm trying to just keep up with our demand here of all the stuff and things. And I think it's made a bit of a difference. And I, I think obviously we're going to have to do even more. Um, but I had to expand the town away for some people to move in as well because we didn't have enough people to work all of our factories. So right now we're kind of... Oh, wait, what do we got over here? Oh, yeah, our two guys. I forgot to show you guys these. Let's check them out, man. Ships of the line. Holy crap. Game saved. Look at the cannons, man. That is crazy. Dude, what an amazing ship. We can go like so. Oh, beautiful. Ships of the line. Now, I think we actually already have one of these guys. We did see him. Do we squirt him over here somewhere? Like so. I'm going to take our ships of the line and actually move them kind of over here. And then we're going to keep this fleet over here kind of separate. Is that all of all you guys on two? Can I add you by holding shift and then right click that and then left click that? And then now we're good. There we go. So this is like a frigate and gunboat fleet. And then we'll have our ships of the line fleet coming up over here. Uh, we're up to about 5,000 bucks. We just broke a million coins in the bank, ladies and gentlemen. No, 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 no. That's not. Mm -mm, no. Mm -mm. Stay right over there. Uh, so I feel like we have one other ship of the line coming. I'm going to queue up another one of those guys. I'm going to queue up another frigate to be made. And I think I'm going to pop back over here. We're going to wait and see what our expedition is doing. And I'm just going to continue to work on canned food island. We're under attack. Oh, my God. We'll give it our best. Brenda's under attack, but the fleet is on the way, ladies and gentlemen. Will it survive? Stations. Oh, look at him, man. He's turning tail and running, you stupid dink. You want some of this? Orange Pico? What does that even mean? All right, you're good. Ready as we can be. We're on a trade route. I paused it. We should be good to go. We're going to have to teach the fire lady, uh, redhead lady, a little bit of a lesson, I do believe. That's right. Fire on him. Ship constructed. Oh, and we got another ship that just got done. Look at this. It's all over for you. You think you got what it takes? Yeah, you better turn. Dude, look. <laughs> serpentine, serpentine. There's nothing they can do. It's over for you. Stupid dummy. Shouldn't have tried to take me on. What were you thinking? Now you woke the beast. Dude, now I'm going to start messing with all your ships. Enemy target established. Uh, our expedition, I do believe, is ready for us to do some stuff and things. Let's talk about it, ladies and gentle peeps. Call of the devil. Can it be the voice of a child in this deep jungle? Ignore the devilish voices. Find a more rational explanation. 5% chance, 9% chance. Hmm. A wonderful fail. Fear incites a rash decision. Everything is terrible. The captain awaits. Feed him some bread. Let's keep going. All right, so... These guys are going to be annihilated here. Una momento. Let's go ahead and speed up time so we can see this happen much more quickly, in fact. Select uh, our deal. Ceasefire. Oh, you think you got ended. what it takes? On point. Bring it on! There we go. Come on, boys. Even faster still. I can't click on him. Take it to the limit! Oh wait, 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 wait. Are you getting close to your deal? No, we're not far. We're not that close. We have to work. we have to be careful they don't come all the way over here to her island. So just a little bit careful of that. Let's pop back over here. That should be two of these ships down. Yeah, it's over for you. Uh I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at No, that's not another red ship. Any of the red ships that are on the map right now, whenever she starts to mess with me, man, I just annihilate everything that I can find. We don't have enough ships yet to take on our deal. I think we're going to need at least 12 ships of the line in order to take this pirate out. So for right now, we'll just tuck tail back over to here. Uh, expedition is going okay, and everything's kind of just moving a little bit slowly. Um, we're increasing our population. Oh, no, no, 666 six, six, Mark of the Beast. That's not okay. City, like so. Look ship ahead. Constructed. There we go. Hot ship construction action. Add a little bit more guys over here. We're up to 677 bad hombres. Pop these guys. 
like so. All right, and um, I added a little bit of clothing manufacturing to the area over here. We have our wood stuff and things going. Believe it or not, this is another island that doesn't have any bricks. In the Amazons, the splendid warrior are all women. Exploring this deserted settlement, which appears to have been the scene of a revolt, seemed a good opportunity for some looting, but your crew aren't the only ones who have had an idea. As they pass the barricade of barrels, tables, and chairs, they happen upon a group of warriors with not a man among them. Indeed, the long-trousered women assume a defensive formation so fluently it's possible they're more than human. Uh, let the women do the talking. You have... Oh, dude! Let's use the bosun. She fascinates the warriors. Nice! We did it! Sweet! Expedition awaits our command. Feed them fish. Minus four stuff and things. Can Ship we get... under attack. Whoa! Sir! Attention for the Admiral. Take him on! Click it! Click it! I can't. There we go. Jeez Louise, man. I couldn't right click on it. Do you think we can get it? It's one of her big ships. She's becoming a pain in my butt recently. Can we do the expedition yet again? This must that check about days on the sea 20. All right. We got to let it like charge up or whatever. Hopefully we can take these guys out pretty quick though. A fistful of doubloons. The ship coffers have been emptied. 9% chance of tracking down the thieves. No way prepared for this. Taking this action will be a gamble. Dude, one in ten to track down the thieves. I mean, if we don't... Oh, let's Maybe try it. And live long. The fling footprints are easily found. Yes! The tracks of the thieves limping leaders stand out in the they dust. Uh, look for a ford to cross on foot. Create a raft across the river. Crafting. No way prepared for this. Okay, let's do this. That's, that's all we can do. You find, uh, your crew find no guarantee of safe crossing. Oh, man. All right. So it looked like we didn't lose a lot of morale from that. All right. Stuff and things continue. So I'm looking around at trying to buy some stuff from some other, uh, some of these other guys, by the way. Um, also, I did uh, form an alliance with Beryl. So we have an alliance with her and Princess King now. But this lady, she's not too happy with me lately. Zero chance of success. Flatter, medium, low. There's not really much I can do. I did ask for a request from her, but she hasn't uh, given me one. So I'm not really sure. We go back to our expedition. No, I really want to see what we can do with that. Wait, the storm, the tempest is beyond anything you've ever faced. Pray that the usual message would work and reef the sails. Whoa, 35% success chance. Nice. Frenzied measured for frenzied time. Open all the sails and ride the storm? Dude, I like that. Use the steam engines to carefully follow through the waves. Dude, I say we go ham, right? 35-35. We got a 35% chance with either one, so let's just ham it out. Success. Riding the waves was uh, wind isn't dangerous enough for the crew. In a display of complete control over the ship, they somehow managed to find an invisible corridor of safe passage among the waves. Nice, man. Your captain awaits your command. Feed him stuff and things. Let's These keep going. Fabled lands exist. Success Wait, what? Is not easily won. Ladies and gentlemen, Session what is this? Unlocked. Expedition successful. What is what? What does that mean? Well, what it means, ladies and gentlemen, actually no. Uh, we have unlocked the new world. These fabled lands exist. After all. Well, we're not going to go on an expedition right now, homie. Well, well we could. Eh, it's all good, man. We, I got, am Isabel Sarmento. Dude, we have so many things going on. Between me and my country's freedom. Receive a clipper? It's hard to get ships. Receive a we clipper. Are lucky to have friends to help us. What? A new commission? Go. Dude! I trust you. Free clipper? Nice! That's sweet! Uh, let's go to here. Let's pop down over there. Have you popped down over here? So this guy's already trying to bank friends with me. That's nice. Where did our other guy go? Where are you? Mustache tugboat. We need to explore this land. So we have a new world and an old world. If it wasn't complicated enough, ladies and gentlemen, with the old world, uh, having all the stuff and things going all the time. Oh, also, I moved some of our beer factories over here. Because I knew we wouldn't use this little teeny island area. So I thought it'd be a cool little deal. I thought it would work out pretty good for us. I think we actually just need to maybe upgrade some of these guys. 
to help move these guys back and forth. Uh, we're not going to have enough, are we, to do that? No, 22. So, um, anyway, if it's not enough that we have one world now, oh, yeah, we have two worlds. So, two new worlds of stuff and things, and, uh, yeah, now we've got to start exploring. So, let's actually Those grab this guy, horizons. head back down over this way, and these guys have all new things that we can farm. It's totally different down over here on the island. Plantation or in the new world. Cotton, uh, corn fertility, coffee, pearl abundance, taco stuff and things. Wait, does that say tobacco stuff and things? I, I was, I'm getting a little bit hungry. Uh, we can't build anything right now. The construction menu is uh, locked out. If me and my people should misbehave, remember, there's misbehaving all over. Jean Lefortune suggests you stay away from him. Dude, what? Dude, what is this? Oh, we're at peace right now with him. We actually have a 30 deal with this guy. Interesting. I think this guy's another pirate. Oh, I struck an alliance with Bear. Oh, I think I told you that. And Princess King, we're not doing so good with her. Zero chance. Dude, she does not like us because we use propaganda. So anyway, a whole new world with all new stuff and things to explore. Look at this place, man. It looks so cool. But that's going to be it for today, guys. Huge amounts of expansion going on in the old world. Uh, we got another new island going over here. More uh, new stuff and things are being created all over the place. And it feels good to have it going on. Look at our ships. All of our stuff and things are going great in our fleet. Are you not building anything anymore? Oh, yeah. Now you are. Let's get two more of those guys going on here. One, two, three, four, five. That'll be six, seven, and then maybe eight. Oh, my God. So, anyway, thank you so much for coming to hang out with me, guys. That's going to be it for today. Make sure if you had fun, smash the thumbs up button. Feel free to share and favor the video as you see fit. And a special shout-out to everybody who supports the channel on Patreon.com slash Slipgator. You guys make videos happen. Thank you so much for watching. And may the stuff and things be with you.